Alright, so, um, I ate, and then I was just kind of playing around, not recording, just because I wanted to find out what book to use, and it's in this little corner with the three books that I hated so much, and it's the one book that I just never read. So, yeah. They, you know, they always say it's the last place you look, and, well, yes, but that's because <laughs> by the time you get there and you look at it, it's the last place you need to look, so, you know, if you're ever looking for something important and someone just says to you, well, well, you know what they say, it's the last place you look. Just, just slap him, because it's like, yeah, no shit, you're not being helpful, I'm looking for this thing, I'm annoyed, and you're just, you're not helping anyone, alright? That, that's just how it goes, so, <laughs> I'm just advocating for you to smack your friends who are trying to lighten the mood, but, who, who needs to lighten the mood? Come on, you, you can be angry, why not? Who isn't angry sometimes? I'm always angry, so, you know, it's not healthy, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Whoever said I was healthy. I certainly didn't. Ugh, Seeker, get out of here. Let's just get out, alright? I'm actually still a little hungry now that I think about it. I ate some leftovers, but... I have some more leftovers, so maybe I'll eat that later. Listen, I just want to... I just want to finish this. Aw, oh, that's a dead end, alright. Well... And I can't go down there. Oh no, here we go. Hello? Oh, you went invisible? Yeah, well, I saw your last location, so... I have a general idea of where you are, so, you know, going invisible at the last second really doesn't help you that much. I'm not an idiot. Well, I am, but, you know, don't worry about it. Oh, all right. Oh, there we go. The scry. Okay, so it is the scry. I never know how to pronounce things. You guys should know that by now. That's why I do better with science fiction games, because then it's usually stuff I can actually pronounce. God, this whole area is really well done. Just kudos to the mod maker, because this is... A lot of work went into this. He could have very easily just had it be like, Oh yeah, you have the, the three things. Congratulations, you're a lich now. But no, this is a really long path. <laughs> he really rewards you for being the bad guy here. Which is cool, because um, I feel like, I mean, once again, quote-unquote bad guy, because it depends on how you look at it, and I think I already have that uh, spell book, but what's it matter? Uh, that spell tome, but what's it matter? The Hanging Gardens, not to be confused with the actual Hanging Gardens. Um, you can hear a truck outside. <sighs> Alright, where to? Uh, well, down here it would seem. This, I don't believe I've been this way yet. Pretty sure I haven't, now that I think about it. Oh, it's a... Uh, what is it? It's a Thursday night right now that I'm recording this, and... Uh, fortunately for me, this semester I don't have Friday classes, which is great for videos, just because it gives me more time to record, and I always need more time to record. These daily videos are kicking my ass, and I've been really good about keeping up with them, but still, it's it's a lot of work. <clears throat> oh, and for some series, like uh, Couch Co-op, which I've been doing with, um, with Al lately, fortunately, we're super ahead on that, but then, okay, so that's two days out of the week. That's still five days of videos that I still need to, you know, try and keep up with. In addition to those two already, you know, Tuesday, no, no, Monday and Thursday is couch co-op, and then, you know, other days of the week, y you know, you know, hopefully you know. Listen, I'm, I'm, I don't know my own schedule, I have it written down somewhere, and that's all that matters. Is there an easy way to get back, or not? I suppose not. Alright, I guess I just have to walk all the way back to the book. Which, granted, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that far away, so it's fine. It's fine. I can do it. I can deal with it. Oh! Hey, it's right here. Never mind. Was it always right here? Ah, who knows? I don't know anything. Deal with it. You should be used to it by now. I'm running out of hard drive space, but, um... Fortunately for me, I just bought a new hard drive, so... That makes my life easier. It's... Oh, God. Uh, is there an easier way to get down from here? Oh, this does not look safe. Granted, I think I might, I might just need to jump down. Oh, wait, just onto this platform right here. How convenient. And now does this lead anywhere important? Doesn't look like it. I'll just take one last looky-loo. But I don't think there's anything here, necessarily. Okay, no. Let's just hop on down. Hippity hop. Hurt my legs a little bit, but that's fine. Because I can heal. I'm a magical healing man. 
All right, so now I forgot to I, I don't remember what the name of the book is so we're gonna see once we slap it down right here Shackled soul beautiful. Oh Hey there, how you doing vindicator? Well, that means I did something right. Oh, yeah, he just doesn't respond to that at all. I forget about that sometimes and Yes, I really only use that one shout. It's my favorite shout. It really is and Yes, I know there's more useful ones. I'm also partial to um, what's it called? Goddamn fire breath. But I don't know. I just like something about about this one. I don't know what it is. I just I like it. Maybe because it just immobilizes enemies usually. Hey. <laughs> then again, so does my crossbow. No wonder I like that one so much too. Just wail, just wail on them while they're down. Is there something sadistic about that? Probably is, but you know what? It's tactical. It's, it's for tactical reasons only. There we go ugly bastard. Alright, so now... Oh, sweet. Okay, so the this book comes here once you put the other four down correctly. Alright. But yeah, I bought a new hard drive, two terabyte internal drive for my desktop, and um, <laughs> I only have one uh, SATA port left, so that's just getting shoved in there. And... Um, if I need more space after that at any point, which I shouldn't need more space for a while, uh, if anything, I would just, I guess, replace one of my 1TB drives with um, a 2TB or a 3TB drive. The only thing is that, so, I have, I have three hard drives already. I have my boot drive, which is a 128 solid-state drive, and then I have two 1TB, um, you know, just regular 3.5 SATA drives. And so my boot drive is essentially just the OS and then I think maybe a few user files, essentially. And then I put all my games on the D drive, which is just the first um, of the two one terabyte drives. And then I have my E drive, which is mostly just exported videos, which is actually filling up because I made a lot of videos in the past year. And, um, and then I just kind of... For recording, I just kind of use both of them. Oh, this is one of the extending hallways. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Uh, I just use what I just use um, essentially whatever has space on it at the time. So I'm sort of limited in um, how much I can how much I can record at any one time, just because Fraps, you know, makes the biggest files ever because uncompressed AVI. In case you didn't know that, because you don't use Fraps. But yeah, if you record with if you record with Fraps, I can't talk by the way. If you record with Fraps, get ready for the biggest file sizes you've ever seen, just because it's uncompressed AVI, full 1080, well, if you're recording at 1080, that is. Uh, and in my case, I record at 60p, or, you know, 60 frames per second. So yeah, that's always, that's always a thing. But uh, now with my new 2 terabyte drive, I'm going to use that primarily for um, recording space, which means I can record a lot more at once before I have to... Uh, you know, worry- oh god, I'm getting pushed? I don't know what's going on. Oh, the hallway is getting shortened, I suppose. Alright, that's cool. Um, so I have a lot more space to record before I have to, you know, worry about editing everything. Granted, I, it's probably a good idea to, you know, still edit stuff shortly after I record it anyway, but sometimes it's an issue just because I want to record a lot in one day, and now that shouldn't necessarily be a problem. And the whole reason I'm talking about this is primarily because there's not a lot, of t lot to talk about right now, just because I'm trying to find my way out of here. Uh, yeah, this is this is really long. I, I honestly wasn't expecting this to be um, so long and in depth for the um, for what I'll, I'll keep on calling it the evil version. Once again, it's it's evil if you look at it that way. It depends how you view it morally and. I don't know, I've never been, like, a necromancer kind of guy. Never been... It's not my style, I guess I would say. And now this hallway's gonna shorten as well, alright. Just gotta thoroughly explore this place, essentially. Mod Arthur did a great job with this, it's just really long, and like I said, if you're not a huge fan of puzzles and stuff like that, then this probably isn't the mod for you, just because you might just get frustrated since it's not a super linear mod. So now is this going to shorten? Yeah, it is. Look at that. All right, let me just turn around. Bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. And I need you more than ever. Because you always hold me tight. 
and then I don't know the rest of the words of the song because, well, it's me. Also, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I don't know where I'm going at this point, is what I should say. And it's true, because this place keeps on changing. Oh, this already got shorter. All right. Um, Did I go this way? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. God damn it, now I'm going to get lost. All right, map time. Jesus, this is... I don't even know anymore. Well, this is going to be all the books all over again. Hopefully not as bad, because that was... That was something. I think I'm going in circles still. I think I am. Yeah, I am. All right. Oh, I might even just cut to when I find my way out of here because I'm running out of things to talk about. Not that much is going on in my life right now. I mean, aside from college, just, you know, being a lot of work as usual. I graduate in May. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but yeah, I graduate in May. So I, that's it's crazy. I can't believe it. It's been, it's been four years in college. And it just feels like the time really flew by. Although the stress certainly didn't. It feels like four years of stress just doesn't feel like it was four years of time. If that makes any sense. It feels like there was more stress per hour, or per day, or per year, than there should have been. Also, I think I found the exit. I hope. Or it's just the way I came from. Which, in, in that case, then I'm... Um, okay, I think it's just the way I came from. Yeah, no, I think... <laughs> I just made a round trip. Damn it. All right, you know what? Let's uh let's go out this hallway see if there's anywhere else that I'm supposed to explore. No, there isn't. Never mind. All right. Well, back into the the creepy crawly maze. Nothing even creepy or crawly about it. It's just transforming. All right. This is a thing. This is going to be the next day of my life. Not even a day. I don't have enough hard drive space for to record for a day. I'm just waiting on that hard drive because of all because of all the snow, it got delayed by a couple days, or well, it, sh it should be here today, but well, not today, tomorrow because it's Thursday night. If Amazon just showed up on my door right now and said, "Hey, how you doing?" I'd be like, "What the fuck? It's 9 p.m." Well, not even 9 p.m. It's like 11 p.m. And they'd say we make house calls. It's like, well, yeah, you deliver. That's literally a house call. Oh, Amazon, I love you, I really do. I don't know what I would do without Amazon. That sounds weird to say, but listen, Amazon's fucking fantastic. God, I'm lost. All right, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm okay. No, I'm lost. Cause it looks like there's somewhere I can go over here, but I need to go forward, and I can't go forward here. Is there? God, I am. I'm lost. All right, I'll 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 just cut to when I find out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, I found the right way to go. It's up this ramp that I apparently never looked at before. Yep, hi, Seeker. Like I said before, video game logic, if there's an enemy over here, then it means you're probably going the right way. There we go. Very good. Very, very good. Hello? Anybody home? I mean, obviously, I just killed one guy, so... There was somebody home. I may have murdered him, though. So if the cops show up and they're like, hey, you murdered someone, I'll be like, listen, it was in Apocrypha, it was okay. I would say he was asking for it, but that sounds bad. That never sounds good if you say someone was asking for it. Never say that in court, by the way, no matter what the context is, because it's not going to end well for you. I can just guarantee that right now. Even if you killed a Seeker in Apocrypha because he was attacking you first, just never say it. Ne just never say those words. Just don't. It's bad. There was a car outside. You can say those words, you can just say there was a car outside, and, well, that's not really bad at all. In what context would it, there's a car outside be bad? I don't even know. Listen, I'm just rambling at this point, please tell me. <gasps> yes! Fucking yes, we're out of this place. We're fucking done. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking finally, yes. God damn, I'm so happy now. Started the path of transcendence. Oh, am I not? Fuck, am I not? God. I can't leave? Okay, no, I can. Alright, good. Thank Christ, I thought I couldn't leave for a second. Alright, hello there, everyone. How you doing? Can't move just yet. Where the fuck am I? Oh, oh no, I'm in the same place I was before. I forget about that sometimes. So now I need to establish a ritual site? Let me take a look at this quest, because I don't know things. Establish a ritual site. Create the elixir of 
defilation, construct the phylactery. From the forbidden, for, from the forbidden secrets I learned in Apocrypha, I have inscribed a dark ritual to parchment that, when complete, completed, will allow me to transform it into an undead lich. I should begin to seek out the components necessary for the ritual. All right, so let's look at some books because that's always good. Let me take a look at this note first. The embalming essence. Okay, so I don't even know if I need to worry about that later on. Um. Wait, so... Uh, Necromancer's note. I don't think I read this yet. Oh no, this is the note I read the first time, so don't worry about that. Um, ritual notes. The ritual appears to require a combination of three major components, none of which I predict will be easy to obtain. Circle of Apotheosis, a very precise and intricate ritual circle, will need to be crafted and prepared as indicated opposite. For the ritual ahead of time, the procedure itself will need to be conducted inside the circle or the ritual will fail. Finding a secure place to do this will not be easy. Well, I'm already unsure of where to do this. The following items will need to be crafted with specialist tools. The phylactery, this object seems to be central to the process of Lichdom. It acts as a vessel for the soul during and after the ritual. It princip uh... It principles, the, the principles involved seem to be similar to that of a soul gem, but more much more complex and arcane, because, you know, soul gems are already magical, but they need to be more magical. The Black Book has already supplied me with the knowledge to unbind my own soul for this ritual, but without a proper receptacle, I will surely pe perish. Crushed Black Pearl, Enscrolled Vessel, Solution of Magicka Concentrate. Well, fuck, this is going to be difficult. Elixir of Defolation. From the ingredients this concoction demands, it appears to be an incredibly fatal poison. Uh, I spelled poison wrong, I think. Uh, I, I'm not great with spelling, so never mind me. The elixir crafted from earlier also appears to be a key component in this. Oh, sweet. I suppose that my death will be necessary for the soul to be unbound and enter the phylactery, but the drinking of an incredibly deadly toxin does not fill me with excitement. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit. Poison Bloom, Vial of Deadly Poison... Uh, nightshade extract, finely ground bone meal, Numir's corrosion, or embalming ritual, or embalming essence. Okay, so I only needed one of them. That's good to know. Ritual process. With the circle drawn and prepared, the phylactery must be set in place first. I need to ensure that I have the Shroud of Vingald with me as the ritual's magic will be focused through it inside the circle. I must unbind my soul. When it is unbound, I should imbibe, I don't even know what that word is, the elixir of Defolation, if the ritual is not performed successfully, the transformation will fail and I will die. Well, fuck. <sighs> Alright, this is gonna be really goddamn complicated. I know it right now, and this is... This is not gonna be good. I know it. I think you guys know it to some degree. Alright, this is... Alright, I don't even know what this is teaching me. Is Are those the circles? I don't even know. Uh... Ritual notes. Let me just look over that again. Look at the circle. Alright. I don't know where I'm supposed to perform this. Fuck, do I need to look up a guide for this? I might need to, just because... This is really complex. Which, granted, I can understand why it would be. Just because of the fact that it's supposed to be. And that's kind of the whole idea of this mod, is that... It's supposed to be this great struggle, or like this great amount of knowledge required in order to do it successfully, and that's kind of why it took so many years for someone to figure out how to do it. But now it might take me years to figure out how to do it. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. I've been looking for you. Hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Just throw it in them, I want it. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. No, just one note, huh? From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Oh, that's usually pretty space. creepy. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Oh. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Read the broker's message. Yeah, so to continue the mod at this point, assuming that you're doing what I'm doing and, you know, trying to become, you know, lord of the evil undead people. Not, that's not actually how it works, but, you know, whatever. Just go to any city and you'll get, you'll run into the courier and he'll give you the broker's message because you need the broker in order to continue. George, your recent acquisitions are not hidden from me and it would appear that you now find yourself in need of certain materials which may be difficult to obtain. I'll say, I honestly don't know where to find any of these. I have the means to provide... To you, just the sort of special specialist resources that other more superstitious of Skyrim's mercantile traders will not come to. My shack west of Lake Illinalta in the forests of Falkreath Hold, if you are interested. Bring coin. The broker. Alright, so we're going to go find the broker and 
do all those broker sort of things. Orissa, you're gonna go on what a vacation because I know you're not a fan of ne necromancy and stuff. Um, so just you know, hmm. head back to well, Falkreath. I guess it was bound to end eventually. Yep. May the divines bless your journey, and perhaps we'll meet again soon. Listen, none of the divines like me right now. I'm about to become a goddamn lich because you know why not? Uh. I blame the mod. It's a really well done mod, but it's really complex when you think about it a little bit. So west of Lake Illinalta. Um, well that's Lake Illinalta. There's the Temple of Arcade that, you know, I murdered the guy in. Um, wait, the Broker's Shack, there it is. Alright, so let's just walk from the roadside ruins 